I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and we're, we're often asked about uh, years for pianos, and uh, you need the serial number, you need the brand serial number to determine that. That's not always available with, with every piano once you have that information, but, uh, but I thought I'd do a video on how to find the serial number. A lot of people don't know where to find it. So uh, let's, let's start with um, brand pianos. Um, the serial number is, is this number, so like on a, on a Yamaha, it's going to be in the millions generally. It's a, so that's, I guess, a seven-digit number. There it is. This, this, this over here is the, is the model, and uh, there's your serial number. So uh, then on other, um, on other brands, like, like let's see, that, that piano over there, um, this little Apollo, was a really tricky one to find. Um, we, we looked and searched. It wasn't on the plate, like, like on that one that I showed you. It wasn't on the soundboard, like one that I'll show you in a minute. Where we eventually found it was on um, these parts here. They're called the cheek blocks. So you have to unscrew. There's a little screw under there that just holds that in, and then you can kind of finagle it out. And I'm not going to do that on this video. I mean, it's just simply unscrewing that screw. You can pull it out, and there's the serial number under there. Okay, I'm going to show you a Baldwin, 1920s Baldwin. That those those can be tricky to find sometimes. Back here in the shop, as an example, this is one that we're rebuilding. So this is actually a convenient um, time to show this, the serial number. So you lift the lid up, and here's where the serial number is right here on this Baldwin. Um, what is that, 49908. Um, so that's another, another spot. Okay, let's, and, and sometimes you'll even see, I don't know if I have an example right now in the shop, but sometimes you'll see on grands that, uh, that it'll be stamped somewhere on the, the soundboard. So, uh, so sometimes, unlike this piano that has these, those big kind of um, trapezoids or kind of uh, those shapes in the, in, the, in the plate, sometimes there'll be circles. Uh, I think they're called rosettes, and, and there'll, be a, there'll be the, sound, the, the serial number printed. Okay, let's move, to, let's move to uprights. Most often on uprights, and you can see all, on all of these, the serial number is printed here. So you've, it's just very simple to, there it is. Same thing here, serial number. A lot of these kind of turn of the century pianos, it's gonna be a, a five digit number. Or if it's an older one, it'll be a four digit, like a lot older, it'll be a four digit number. There's the serial number for the Steinauer. Here's a Kimball. Kimballs are very easy to find just right there. Here's, a, here's an old Everett that, that is a four-digit number, 5774. Um, okay, then sometimes you find them not on the, uh, let's go back in the shop. You, you don't find them on the piano, like I've got a, a 1961 Wurlitzer over here. Where if you were to open it up, um, oh, on the, sorry, this one it does have it printed here, but it's also on the back. Um, I remember seeing that. So, so some of them it's not printed on the plate or the soundboard like that, but you have to pull it out and you find it right there. There's a serial number, um, but uh, but here again, all of these is very easy. There it is. There's the model Yamaha U3. And there's the serial number. Okay, there it is. Pretty, pretty easy to find the serial number. Thanks for watching.